Okay, let's look at how to create a grid for your icons. Um, go to File, New, create a new document that's 1000 by 1000. Anytime today. Anyway, okay, go to uh, Rectangles Tool and create a 256 by 256 square. Make sure it's in the center and also make sure the fill is set to none. Select the square, go to object, path, split into grid. We're going to make 64 by 64 and then hit OK. This is a bit thick, so select all and change the stroke size to 0.25 and let's group that and then change the opacity to about 30 percent okay so we have our first squares now let's create another one same size 256 by 256 and put it in the center as well and then go to object path split into grid and this time choose 4x4 four four. and hit OK and while it is being selected I'm gonna group that one as well and then now we're gonna create diagonal lines from one corner to another corner uh, hold shift while you're dragging and now that we have one I'm just going to select that one and then right click, go to transform, reflect, and then make sure you have vertical on and then hit copy. Then you have a mirrored image. Now we're going to make uh, circles and we're going to start from the center and click and drag, but holding shift and alt. So it'll start resizing based on the center. Uh, the size is 128 by 128. And this circle is touching the inner uh, square. Now let's create another one, same way. Shift and Alt. And this time we're gonna make it touch that intersection point which is going to be 181 by 181 make sure everything is in the center aligned and you have this one now we're going to create another square uh, which is going to be like four squares uh, below it so which is going to be 224 by 224. Select that one. Make sure it is in the center as well. And then you have a general grid. Uh, if you want to uh, make it to where you can see the horizontal and vertical uh, grid for your icons, then I would create uh, rectangle for the uh, vertical one and choose any light color and change its opacity to about 10 or 15 so that would be your uh, vertical one uh, you can change its corner as well while selected, if you press A or go to the direct select tool, the corners menu pop up over here, and then you can change it to 20. And for the horizontal one, you can copy this one and paste it on top and then rotate it. And that will be your uh, horizontal grid. And this area, 
is for like a no-go zone. So you're not allowed to take your icons past this line. So make sure you don't that unless you uh, really, really, really have to. And once you've done this, uh, the best way or the easier way is to just select all, go to symbols, and just drag and drop it uh, on top of that symbol and create like a 256 by 256 grid so that you have it for later as well. And hit OK. Then you would need that. And for next time, if you need to make a grid, you can just drag it outside. And then you have your grid. Uh, I hope this helps. And if it doesn't, or if you have any questions, just email me. Thank you.